Fresh Air, or Arlington's initiative to reduce emissions, was launched in 2007. It set the ambitious goal of reducing emissions from county facilities by 10% by 2012. Well, with a year to go before that deadline, is Fresh Air working? Fresh Air is working. Uh, the goal that we set is something that we are on track to meet. Between 2000 and 2008, greenhouse gas emissions from county government operations actually rose. But since 2008, we've actually reduced energy use in our buildings by 8% through investments in energy efficiency. And this is despite a 16% increase in the square footage. We are focusing on county operations. It's, but it, since it's only less than 4% of the community total emissions, we're also reaching out to the private sector to encourage them to take action and to follow our lead. We launched the Arlington Green Games. This is a friendly competition between uh, commercial office properties and then over a year-long period where we organize trainings, seminars, uh, we help show them how they can take steps to reduce their energy use, their energy costs, and their water use. On the one hand, we have large firms like Monday Properties, uh, Vornado Real Estate, Jones Lang LaSalle. At the same time, there are many companies that have been recognized by the county as air champions uh, because of exemplary uh, programs or milestone accomplishments that they have achieved. Uh, the Java Shack restaurant is one of them. The process of becoming, becoming a green business actually started from day one um, as far as I'm concerned, we started with the reusable travel tumbler, and that eliminates the use of paper cups, to-go cups, and offered ceramic cups for here. From then on, we just started implementing different things from eliminating as many plastic throwaway disposable cups we could, our paper cups we converted to compostable recycled cups. Also, our plastic to-go cups are now made out of corn product. We use biodegradable compostable napkins uh, that are made out of 80% recycled material, and, and that's post-consumer recycled versus just recycled, and there's a huge difference in that. I was able to work with Continuum Energy Solutions, and they came and they installed two solar panels over our patio, and we use those for um, four outlets that people can plug their laptops, their cell phones, other devices into. We're pleased that some of the Green Games participants have started buying green power. Uh, green power is something that sends a, an important market signal uh, to the utility sector that customers uh, are interested in uh, cleaner electricity and this helps spur the development of additional clean energy sources. We get a lot of questions about our wind energy power and the way that it works is we had an audit of our, of our energy bill for one year. And so we buy energy credits to offset what we use from Dominion Power in a year for wind power, and we subsidize that. Studio 27 are an architectural firm who have renovated a home in Arlington. Part of their philosophy is to incorporate sustainable design, building as green as possible. We treat it not as a you know, chasing of programs or chasing of certificates as much as it's a sustainable consciousness that we maintain within the studio. And so all of our projects, although many of them do achieve LEED certification for the U.S. Green Building Council, we also have a whole range of items that we just integrate into most projects that are sustainable. Along with Energy Star appliances, compact fluorescent lighting and heat reflective windows that utilize natural daylight, Studio 27 managed to reuse and recycle a lot of the material from the original house. This particular house we started with as a renovation and it's a typical 1944 post-war Pentagon home. All the wood was actually very good still from 1944 and so we were able to salvage all of the wood from the original house and use about 70-80% of it uh, in the new house that we did. There were two maple trees that sort of came with the property, and those maple trees, turns out after a whole variety of discussions with arbors, our arborist, uh, determined that they were at the end of their useful life, and so they could be a detriment for the new house. And we turned them into a design feature of the house, which was a sort of a wall or a partition, we call the slat wall. And it's all made of the actual milled maple tree that used to live here on the site with us. 
what we've done on this particular property is we designed a highly reflective Energy Star white roof membrane. There's three openings here which go down to scuppers. All the water drains off the roof, goes into a 1700 gallon cistern, and then with the cistern we use to irrigate all of the gardens that this client has. And underneath that garden is a geothermal heating and cooling system. The clients weighed the cost of geothermal also with the cost of solar panels. And the client decided on taking that pool of money and spending it on geothermal instead of the solar panels. So what we did was we prepared the house for future solar panels. And what we've done is we've designed an area that's right over in this area that will have uh, an array, a small array, for basically taking this property off the grid. One of the great things about investments in energy projects and energy efficiency is that you're spending some money today but you'll save money next year and every year thereafter. Uh, on average, we find that the investments that we make in energy efficiency projects, in county projects, uh, pay for themselves in about five years. Sometimes they pay for themselves quicker, two or three years. Sometimes it's a seven or eight year payback. But overall, we're always looking to do an economically prudent investment. And because energy prices are likely to in continue increasing, uh, that just means additional savings in the years ahead.